Hi, my name is Sarah, and today I'm going to be reacting to Lose by Wanho. All right, Wanho had a comeback, and I'm super excited. That's really all I can tell you. I stand Monster X, I stand Wanho. I recently reacted to I Am's Goddamn, which was amazing, and also I loved Open Mind. So I'm super excited for this. I have seen some screenshots. I don't know if I'm ready, but I'm excited. And yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm just gonna get into it. But before I do that, as always, if you liked my reaction at the end of it, please don't forget to leave a like and maybe subscribe to my channel if you want to. Also, I have a Patreon account where I do album listens and any reactions that my patrons want to see. So if you're interested in that, the link is in the description. And also, I recently opened a gaming channel, so if you're into gaming, then go check that out. The link is also in the description. I read through the lyrics already. I really like it. I, I, I'm understanding the story as in he and his partner broke up. It was like a bad breakup and he thinks about the other person all the time still. And it makes him really bitter to think about that relationship and that person. So the line is, in this moment where I miss you, I lose. As in like, it's over for me, everything goes downhill. But then he also said, uh, never regretted anything. I always lo loved you. So like, it's like he gave it his all. But then there is a line that says, the moment you come back to me, you lose. I'm understanding it as in, I loved you back then, but thinking of you makes me feel really bad. So if you ever want to get back with me, it's your loss, you screwed it up, and I'm not gonna do that anymore, kind of a thing. So I'm just really excited to see the video, honestly. Oh wow, opening shot looks super great already. Okay, I, I'm, I don't know if I'm ready, but let's, let's do it. Let's just do it. Oh. Oh my God. Alligator vibes. Oh my god, wait. Oh no, no mind. Ooh. Mm. So nice. Oh my god. My god, I fucking love his music. Oh my god, yes. Was a gun. Wow. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The violin. What's going on there? Oh my god, I love this song. Okay, everything is going backwards.
don't look like like come on okay all right so the first thing i have to say is i love this song this and open mind are so good losing you was also great of course but it's it's a slower song so i'm not like vibing to it as much as i am to this it's just oh my god it's just so good it's exactly my type of music i love his music i really really need to listen to his albums because Open Mind and this are so much my taste. Oh my God. I really, really like him as a solo artist. I said this in my reaction to Open Mind and Losing You as well, that as much as I hate the situation that caused him to become a solo artist, I'm glad that he is one uh, and didn't disappear or something because he's so great. He is so good. His music, but also his videos, his he's just so, so great. I also really, really like this video. It's so, it's so good. And before anyone thinks I'm just gonna ignore it, I mean, we have to talk just one sentence about his body. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it doesn't even look real sometimes. Like this moment here when he, this, when he has his power going through him, like it looks like, like he looks like Captain America. The super serum is injected or something. It's, oh my God, it's unbelievable, honestly. So that was my comment about that. And that's all I'm gonna say. He looks, he looks great. The first thing I wanna say is, I don't know if it's intentional. I feel like it is because it would be such a huge coincidence, but this reminds me so much of Alligator by Monster X. The outfit I feel like is the exact same. And then the water dancing, I feel like that is intentional because there are so many other things you could have done. Even the lighting reminds me of it. I wanted to quickly explain why the lighting reminds me of each other because obviously in alligator there was fire and there were sparks coming from the ceiling but what reminds me is that the light is coming straight from the top down pretty much i don't know you could have done it with sand you could have done it with a lighter background you could have done it with a different wardrobe i don't know i feel like this was intentional so when i saw this for a second there i went maybe the song is about monster x but then the line of when you come back you lose doesn't really make sense so i scratched it and then also we see that woman in the video as well so then that made sense that it's not about monster x <laughs> this opening shot is super nice i love the framing i also really like the colors everything's very blue very cold the whole video is like that except for these scenes in the red which are so cool i love that but everything else seems kind of cold and like distant and not very inviting it seems like he's pushing us away kind of which i feel like is what he's doing with the song as well like you, you're gonna lose like don't come back to me i don't want anything to do with you anymore the set dressing is really cool too and i don't know i mean he's working here on the on a film reel as well well so i wonder what that has to do with the story because also this ginormous film reel falls into the city in the black and white scenes this here so i wonder how that connects i don't really know i mean when i think of a film reel i always think about memories because you know like they say that if you're in a dangerous situation or you're about to die or something your whole life flashes in front of your eyes like a movie so that's what I think about, but I don't know if that's how it was intended here. He's doing something, maybe he's cutting it or something. He also has a tape recorder. And then also these edits, like a film roll, are probably really intentional, but there's also something going on with the lighting, I think. I think they're turning off the light that's lighting him up here for like one frame. This stage is also so cool. So many patterns, like we have this floor and then the curtain have a pattern and the back here with those marble tiles, it has a pattern. The ceiling has some kind of pattern, then we have these gold lines everywhere. There's so much going on, but at the same time, it's since it's only two colors, it's not super confusing to the eye. We still see them very clearly and are not confused by what we're seeing. That stage is so cool. Oh, look at the lighting, they changed it. So there's one light that's coming kind of from the top, but it's not super directional, it's more soft. And then they turn on the, the other light that's also coming from above, but it's stronger. And then here we have that lighting change again, where they change it back to the previous setting. Oh, I love this too. The shot in general, also that it's sideways and the colors, we only see his silhouette. And then we have that one stripe of light. Oh, I love that aesthetic always and we mirror the shot with her where she's just looking into the camera and the light doesn't move 
oh, the world is crumbling around him. Oh, okay, I thought it was rain when I first saw it. And then we have this film reel transition again here. So he's holding on to her and everything's crumbling around them. I don't know what's going on here. Like his, his eye is glowing and also he has something glowing in his mouth. Like I have no idea what's going on story-wise in this episode, in this episode, in this video. All of these match cuts are so nice. Okay, this is an actual lighting change here. And then this match cut, oh, so great. All of these match cuts here are so great. All these skulls. I have no idea what's going on in this video, but it's very dark. This skull as well. Then we have that keyhole with, again, film transition. And then this, oh my god, I love this shot. It's so simple. He's literally just standing in front of a really big screen that's displaying whatever this is. But the contrast, the super strong red versus him being almost entirely just shadow is so... Pretty. I love this. This shot is so stunning. Oh my god. And then we go into black and white. He's still in the same set. He's such a good dancer as well. He can do everything. And then we're there. All of these lighting changes always. Constant lighting changes. Here we have one again. Such small changes, but it still has an impact. Then we go back into color. That spotlight that goes around the room. Again, a film transition. I feel like maybe he's cutting up his memory or something. I don't know. The lighting is really awesome in this video. All of the, like, oh my god, the editing as well. Look at all of that. We go into his eye and then we see raindrops falling onto the floor. Also, some of these shots remind me of losing you, actually, which is really cool. And then this, more rain, and then all of these one hose in front of that screen. I, I, I don't even know. I have no idea what's going on. And then she points a gun at him. I forgot about that. I assume this is more like a metaphor than literally what happens in the story. I hope. And then we have this. Oh, this is where the rain was falling previously. Uh, oh, this is the same location, but it's all... Oh my god, that's so cool. This is the same location as previously, but this time it's all run down and destroyed. Oh, that's so cool. I thought we were in a new space, but it's the same location. <gasps> I love that. Oh, the production design, the set dressing. It's so good. It looks so damaged. The, the walls and everything. There are holes and the color going away. Oh my god, this is awesome this is so well done and the ceiling being destroyed and the rain falling through because there are holes in the ceiling oh my god so great all right and then we have this entire thing where a whole city falls down i mean this is purely visual effects of course but super impressive still it kind of reminds me of inception i don't really know why oh wow and he's even still falling i didn't even see him going from this moment where she's disappearing in black and white with the film transition to this when it's just such a strong, vibrant red color. Oh, I love that. This is this is when I really love this shot. And here we have, I think this is supposed to be his heart or something. That's the same set as the room. And also that glass thing is the same place. All right, and then this thing up here. Oh my God, I don't know what's happening. I, I don't understand the metaphors in or like the story in this video but the visuals are amazing all of those flashes always it's kind of like when a film is going too slow like there are these frames that are just black because it's not matching the frame rate almost it's really interesting then he has like an emotional breakdown or something he starts screaming and his his heart starts bursting or erupting or something here he has the chains that he talks about in the lyrics here he frees himself i guess i don't know what those sparks are supposed to represent and then he starts glowing so maybe his heart exploded so now he's getting destroyed from the inside out i i have no idea what's happening <laughs> on a story level literally don't know he has like an emotional breakdown or something which reverses time so maybe it's like he was in a lot of pain and he was feeling like he's getting destroyed but then it was so much pain and so much hurt that his heart exploded and he couldn't take it anymore which released all the pain so now it reverses the damage i don't know i i'm not really great at picking up metaphors and things like that in videos but i would love if any of you have any idea what any of that is about i would love to know uh, I see here that high quality fish had something to do with this. That makes sense. I really like high quality fish. Their, their videos are so great. I think they do a lot for Monster X. They did Focus on Me by Just Two as well. And I actually did a video on it. Most of their videos were 
a lot of their videos have a lot of technical elements in them like here the film thing and the heart being so made out of technology things like that yeah i would love to know what you thought about the comeback about the song about the video about everything if you see some kind of meaning in the video i would love to know and yes thank you so much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to leave a like and as always a huge thank you goes to all of my patrons especially isabel pineapple senpai heiho jeho anasasi and gerald for supporting me if you're interested to check out my patreon the link is in the description thanks for watching bye